Hey Scorpio, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. I hope you're doing good. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's quickly see guys what's coming towards you uh, as we enter May 2022. Scorpio, reverse the roles if needed, switch the cases. But do not force the reading on your situation, right? Avoid the background noises. Okay, Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio, there's a breakthrough. Okay, this is more like tower moment. I'm getting a vibe that there's some, okay, this is hanged man energy usually, but in this deck, I see there's some new perspective coming in. Page of Swords, uh, this is the vibe where there's a lot of mental conflict right now. I see you going through a phase where something is bugging you. There's so much in your head. For some of you, this is overthinking. For this is like, there are thoughts, there are memories, there are things which are just crashing your head like this, the mind energy. For some of you, a lot of things are just in your mind, Scorpio. There are things on the ground also, but that that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that uh, maybe it's like I'm getting a vibe that 70% of the thing is something on your mind, right? So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, there's a breakthrough. This is, okay, Ten of Cups is here. This is the breakthrough energy. This is the hanged man energy. This is showing me, okay, lovers, my God. I'm getting a vibe here. Scorpio, that you have to change your perspective about something. You're overthinking about a situation, but maybe you're getting some information. Page of Swords is more like getting more information, energy. Something coming up, which is giving you a perspective change. So probably this is, this is something good, I expect. Ace of Swords was there under the deck. More clarity about something. Okay, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what's happening with you and what you need to hear. Scorpio, we have five of swords, three of swords, and the ten of pentacles. Somebody is tricking you. Okay, I'm getting a vibe here. Interesting. There is somebody who's playing games. I see that you are overthinking about something or you decided that this is how I want to work things out. There was a strategy or there is a strategy you are making. Maybe you're walking away from somebody or you're distancing yourself from somebody. There is a decision or maybe in the recent past, there was a decision that this is what I want and this is what I'm doing, right? There's some strategy happening here and that's leading to your heartbreak. Now, what I'm getting here is that what's happening here? Is something driven by you yourself sometimes uh, you know despite of knowing the consequences of our decisions we anyway move forward towards those decisions because there's something uh, more promising ahead ten of Pentacles is showing me that for a moment there's going to be some pain maybe right now you're going through this phase where um, your decision five of swords I see this is something you're doing right you were uh, thinking little about yourself in the situation maybe there was some uh, self-centered energy involved but whatever that was that that has led to a heartbreak or that that is leading to some emotional loss here but very next I see you moving towards your fulfillment long-term stability family thing mind three of swords five of swords is showing me that you're making a lot of things in your head right and this is leading to something which is happening on the ground so be careful of what you think right ten of pentacles is showing me some abundance this is family coming together you might be hearing from somebody very soon there's somebody who's asking for a renewal i see new love coming your way there's somebody who wants to work things out with you six of cups beautiful lovers gemini energy there's somebody making a choice this person is missing you a lot and they want to work things out with you they want to first start here and i see you will be getting a communication from this person very soon ten of pentacles this may lead to some commitment or for some of you it's just that you're upset about something and you're just focusing on your family or your personal stuff your abundance right you might be avoiding some things here moving forward let's see what is this week bringing for you scorpio I see you are uh, you are in that phase right now where you're thinking about yourself and I think it's needed because something is causing emotional loss here. Nine of Wands, now you're very guarded and defensive about something but you know what, this cycle is coming to an end. For some of you there's lack of trust and wow, there's a chapter ending and then you are taking a stand against something. 
there's somebody specific who's waiting for uh, maybe your call or your message or something okay emperor this person is a little adamant and they're going silent about something for some of you i'm getting a vibe that this person reached out to you and uh, what you decided somehow resulted in uh, some kind of falling apart of the situation you felt that somebody is selfish or you felt that i need to think about myself in the situation but whatever it is i see now you already got it now you already got it in this week you're going to maintain your one arm's distance from this person and i see turning around happening here you're going to see what's the wheel of fortune energy there's something coming from the universe which is motivating you to take a stand for yourself right in the beginning you're very guarded you're defensive you're not sure but as things turn around we're going to see what is this wheel of fortune energy as things turn around you're standing up and blocking something this is going to be a big step right and this is motivating this is, i see this is a motivation coming from the universe towards you okay so let's see we have two of pentacles struggle to make a decision seven of pentacles waiting for something and world accepting the change and there's somebody okay i do see somebody rushing in to ask for a judgment this person is losing sleep over you but i see a wishy-washy energy there's somebody very disappointed about something here we're going to clarify we're going to clarify i see at the end um there's going to be a struggle to make a decision about something you're waiting for something and there's a struggle but for some of you i see you're realizing that you're waiting on to the wrong thing if you're waiting for something specific here you're feeling exhausted you're putting so much effort seven seven and you're like at the end you're realizing that this has to transform i cannot yeah i, I do see that still you're looking backwards but there's a realization that i need to move forward i cannot i cannot sit here and we the fortune is there in the center of the reading there's something destined happening here Interestingly, whenever I cut the deck, I get ten of ten of cups. But ten of cups is not coming out out right now. So this is something tricky here. For some of you, I see some belief system, some cultural uh, family belief system is stopping you from taking an action towards somebody. Maybe I see ten of cups again. So I see some decision that you're making here, Scorpio, and you're feeling bad about it. What's this three of swords energy? Feeling hurt about something, what's that? Let's see. What is this energy? I see two of cups, five of wands, and king of cups. There's somebody uh, who is in love with you or you are in love with this person. Again, ten of cups. This person wants a partnership, but I see a lot of conflict. Maybe there's a conflict of opinion between you both. There's love here. I think there's a relationship probably or there's somebody who is in love with you or you are in love with this person. Again, king of cups can be your soulmate. This is your soulmate. But I see because of some reasons, there's a lot of conflict between you and this person, right? And that, that's breaking your heart. Breakthrough is the energy where you are coming out of your shackles and you're like, I'm not going to take this anymore. There's something which is piling up over your head that is pissing you off. Your mind is you know, just fucked up, I'm picking up. So what is this nine of wands? I see that there's, there's a partnership here. Ten of Pentacles. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Let's see first. Star. Okay, there's some commitment with somebody. Scorpio, there's a deep commitment with somebody. Aquarius energy. Queen of Wands, Devil. Now, the one you're dealing with, this person is experiencing a third party situation. And I see some ego clash in third party energy. This person is trying to block the toxic influence here, right? Yeah, I see Ace of Cups, Lovers. There's third party influence on this person I'm picking up. Let's see what is this nine of wands. You're already guarded. You're already guarded about something coming to what what are you what is making you feel so guarded here? Six of Cups. You have history with this person. Three of Pentacles. You have so much history with this person. I see they tried working with you in past. Oh, this person is cold. Dead cold. I see that in front of this very cold face, they are hiding some nightmares. There's, there's a new thing happening. For some of you, I see they have taken a new leap of faith in their life. They're taking a leap of faith and they're freaked out about it. Okay. What is this Wheel of Fortune? I, I see things shifting for you, Scorpio. What is this shift happening? Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Swords, the Death and the Hanged Man. Okay, this, this needs to be a transformation. Breakthrough and death. The transformation here. 
For some of you, you are feeling here that this divine timing at work and you're ending stuff which is no more needed in your life. And the mind with the Page of Swords, this is the energy where you are spying about something, you're getting to know something. You're getting that uh, something is not right here and Page of Swords is showing me that you're skeptical about working things out on that front, right? And uh, death is showing me that you're accepting the transformation with the Wheel of Fortune, you're taking it as the destiny and accepting it as uh, the transformation coming from the universe. Hanged man here in the center of the reading is showing me both these cards. These are uh, breakthrough to hanged man. This energy is showing me that, yeah, this is the tower energy for me, you know. And then um, hanged man is showing me that you're stuck. See, can you see this stuck energy? You're feeling that things are getting delayed, you're trying to just get rid of some things, you're getting transformed from within, and then you're getting a breakthrough here. What are you blocking? Let's see, what are you blocking? What are you blocking here, Scorpio? There's some past energy that's trying to revive in your life, and I see you blocking it sincerely. Nine of Wands, yeah. There's somebody, I think you're trying to protect yourself here from somebody. There's somebody who is trying to resurface in your life, but for you, you're understanding that it's over. And you're trying to protect yourself. Ten of Cups, yeah, Page of Wands. All right, for some of you, I see you're very defensive about the partnership you have with somebody. And you're blocking some energy here, Page of... Okay. Let's see in the near future. The sun is trying to pop out of the deck. What are you struggling with here? What is this struggle? Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, there's an opportunity banging your door. A new opportunity coming your way. Scorpios and there is a struggle to decide whether to work over the current thing or or simply just work alone not work with anybody or just give it a try a new start you're struggling here because there's a new start banging your door what is uh, what are you waiting on to here judgment okay queen of swords and uh, okay intuitively your heart is telling you that there's a matter which is going to revive in your life very soon there's a matter which is reviving here right and Queen of Swords is showing me that you're cutting something out. There's definitely something trying to revive in your life. And there's a fresh start waiting for you. Let me see what's the world. There's a chapter ending, Scorpio. There's a massive a shift happening in your life. I'm getting in the month of May, death, world. There's a lot of energy which is showing me shift here. What is this world? Ace of Cups, Four of Swords and Five of Pentacles. King of Wands is under the deck. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Okay. There's somebody who is... Um, I'm picking up that there is somebody specific who is under some third-party influence here. And I see King of Cups and King of Wands. There's somebody who wants to work things out with you. Ace of Cups, Four of Swords, Five, five of Pentacles. For some of you, I see you're realizing that you cannot work over something. You're parting your ways from something here, Scorpio. Ace of Cups is showing me that there is a fresh start waiting for you. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. And uh, because this new start is happening, you're keeping it a secret from somebody. So it's like you're walking away from somebody, you're distance, distancing yourself from somebody. And Ace of Cups is showing me that there is a fresh start here. And you don't want somebody to know about it. And Five of Pentacles, you're understanding that there is a specific person you can't work with right there's a departure happening and ace of cups is something is the truth that you don't want to tell to somebody i see there's a new start here you are queen of pentacles i see this is your energy in this situation and queen of cups knight of cups interesting i see somebody dealing with multiple parties here scorpio let's see what comes up next for you what what you need to hear and what messages are coming up for you scorpio Nine of Pentacles, staying independent of something which you think is not right. You're blocking something here. Enjoying the fruits of your labor, hard work that has led to luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. Happy, happily and successfully self-employed. Enjoying the solitude. Interesting. And there's somebody who's reaching out to you. Somebody can see how independent and amazing you are. And this person is reaching out to you. I see this person is coming from some conflict. Enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, and impatient. News of exciting opportunities. Allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passion. Finish what you have started. So, that's interesting. That's interesting. Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. 
okay what scorpio needs to hear in this situation scorpio you're very close to achieving your goal you're almost there don't let your past hold you back there's something that has happened that has broken your heart i see you coming out of it your mind is actually very distressed about this whole scenario i see you coming out of something don't let your past hold you back okay what scorpio needs to hear what is coming up for scorpio may 2022 Scorpio, the waiting game. I see you waiting for the outcome and I see you very close to achieving your goal. Universe is watching here. Universe. Six of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. Choose wisely. There are there are options coming in, Scorpio. I see here uh, the world energy, right? And I'm getting a vibe that there's something coming to fruition here. There's something coming to fruition. There's something coming to a shift, an end. And I see... Uh, there's a change happening for you what scorpio needs to hear you're very close to achieving something that you've been waiting for for a very long time ask for help from others and not the right time there's something you need to claim independence from scorpio for time being because this is not the right time for something this is not the right time for something you have to claim independence from the situation what is the situation about what is the situation about scorpio Turn on your heart's light. Reflect on the time when you experienced love. I see you turning really closed off and blocking something out. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. For some of you, I'm getting a vibe that there have been some past experience, experiences which have really shut you down. There's an energy where you have to get rid of something. Breakthrough is just come out of those shackles and there are new opportunities coming your way. Just accept the opportunities i'm still feeling that something is missing here scorpio the reading is still incomplete i'm not getting that completion vibe here what's coming towards scorpio there's somebody there's a fire sign yeah this person is attracted to you i see an apology coming in ten of swords okay this person is coming towards you after ending something what scorpio needs to hear scorpio i see new beginning happening I see a fire sign and a water sign here. Worth waiting for under the deck. What Scorpio needs to hear? What's coming towards Scorpio in love? Very soon. Scorpio, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I see uh, there's, there's a connection here, Scorpio, which is in limbo. I see there's a struggle to start. I see it reviving and then... Oh my god, there's something very incomplete about this reading. I'm just getting it. Playfulness, okay. Past life relationship. I, I do see you're connected to somebody here. And the connection is so on and off right now. In the next in the next reading, I'll get you guys a bonus. I feel this is very incomplete. And we're going to see what happens next, right? This is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.